Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox the Western Tech portable 500g digital scale, take a close-up look and test it out. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this digital scale measures in grams, ounces, troy ounces, the nearest weight or penny weight, carrots and grains, and it has a maximum weighing capacity of 500 grams in 0 0.01 gram increments. So it's powered by two AAA batteries and has a blue LED backlit display. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box. And let's just make sure that there's nothing else left inside the box. And that's just fine, so let's go ahead and set the box to one side. And then let's go ahead and pop the digital skill out from its clear tray, set it to one side, and let's go ahead and remove the rest of the contents from the tray. So that's the tray emptied out, let's set that to one side, and then take a look at this paper or leaflet here. So it does have very tiny print. So it is a user manual leaflet detailing the use and general maintenance of the digital scale. So it is printed in English on one side and Chinese on the other. So let's go ahead and set that down and to one side. And it's nice to see that the digital scale comes included with two AAA batteries in which it requires to operate. So let's set that down and to one side. and then take a close-up look at the scale. So let me set the pair of AA or triple A batteries to one side, and then we can take a close-up look at the scale. So the scale comes with a tray. So as we can see, there is a clear plastic tray or bowl and it's nice to see that it's wrapped in protective plastic and let's go ahead and remove the rest of the protective packaging and we see a smaller tray now or bowl So it does come with two trays or bowls. Okay, let's set them down. And let me reposition the trays or bowls and the 500 gram digital scale from Western Tech more neatly and then now we can take a close-up look at the scale itself so it measures up to a maximum capacity of 500 grams in 0 0.01 gram increments so quite fine measurements and it's quite light in weight it does have a little bit weight to it but it is Reason reasonably light. And on the underside, we see the battery compartment. Let me 
turn it the right way around for reading the label there. And let's pop open the battery compartment just to show you that it does take two AAA batteries. And then quickly pop the cover back on and finish the quick tour or close up tour of the digital scale. And of course, the LCD screen in the front, and then the power buttons and function buttons to operate the digital scale. So let's go ahead and pop in two of the included AAA batteries, set the scale down. And I might need the assistance of the trusty old pen knife. Let's try that again. And interestingly, I've managed to dent one of the batteries Not sure how well you can see that, but that was how hard I was trying to break open the pack there. But let's go ahead and pop the batteries in already. So two double A bat uh triple A batteries, beg your pardon. And let's go ahead, pop them in. Replace the battery cover, and you can see a hello showing on the screen there, right below. H E W L O, and let's go ahead and set the scale down. And it's showing zero grams, which is quite nice. So there's no need to reset or set the tear weight. Let's set it back down. Once again, it's showing zero, as you can see quite clearly on the display there. And let's go ahead and put a small tray on it and see how much it weighs. So 18.08 grams. And let's go ahead and press the M button, which shows the different weight readouts. So that's grains, ounces, troy ounces, denarius weight or penny weight, and carrots, and grams, back to grams and grains, so grains, ounces, troy ounces, denarius weight, carrot, and then back to grams, which is, as you can see, the top row there. Let me bring it up so you can see it a bit more clearly as I toggle through the weight units. So I'll press the M button in just a second. Just let the camcorder focus right there. Okay, so now I'll cycle through the different weight units right there. So grams, grains, ounces, troy ounces, denarius weight or penny weight, and carrots. And then lastly, back to grams again. And I'm not quite sure what PCS does. Let's go ahead and press that to find out. Okay, obviously I should be reading the user manual leaflet thoroughly, but T should be tear weight, so that resets the weight down to zero, just in case 
you want to offset any weight. So for example, if the bowl is on, if we tap on the T for tear weight, it will reset it back down to zero so you can accurately measure whatever you place on it now without having to do any subtractions with the uh, weight of the tray being accounted for. Okay, so what we can do is go ahead and take off the white uh, clear tray there, the small one, and pop on the large one. And then we can also set the tear weight right down. Obviously, I've kind of shifted it a bit. So if we did that right now, that should be just fine. Okay. And then what we can do is try and measure something. So let's set the tear weight back down to zero. And I've got my trusty Rolex GMT Master 2. 116710BLNR. Let's go ahead and put it on the scale to see how much it weighs. So 148.92 grams. And obviously, I can cycle through the different weight units to get the different measurements. So back to grams again. So 148.92 grams. And let's weigh something else. So let's quickly pop the watch off and see if it'll measure the or register the weight of a 10 pound note. So it's, as you can see, nice and light. And it does actually register the weight of the note as 0.94 grams. So it's just under a gram. So that's how finally it registers or measures the weight all the way down to the hundreds of grams so 0.95 grams so we can combine the both so 0.95 grams put the uh, watch back on and then if i put the note back on it should weigh 149.9 grams if I'm going to get the note to stay. Okay, close enough. 149.88 grams. So 149.89. So as you can see, it does measure very finely. 149.89 grams. And consistently. So I'll pop the watch off again and put the note right back down. So I have to be mindful that it doesn't touch the sides so that it does get a good reading. So 0.99 grams. And now it's a gram. Just make sure that it's zeroed properly. So 1.01 grams. Let's stand it up just to make sure that you get a nice consistent measure. So 1.02 grams. If I place it back down again. Okay, so it's detecting something. So let's reset the tear weight. Put the note back on. 0.94 grams, 0.93, and 0.92 grams. So as you can see, it does vary a little bit, but it's all down to the very fine measurement of 0.01 grams.
So that's the Western Tech Portable 500g Digital Scale. Thanks for watching and happy weighing!